My therapist is the best. He's kind, he's loyal, he's trustworthy, he's a great listener, and he barks. Yep, he barks. Two years ago, I was obsessed with persuading my parents how much we desperately needed a dog. I spent hours and hours researching types of dogs, finding out all the positives and negatives of different breeds and where to find the perfect, passionate, playful pooch. And finally, on the 15th of December in 2018, my life changed in a way I never truly imagined. Reggie joined the Johnson family. Reggie is a beagle ear, which is a beagle cross King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. As you can see, he is very much a beagle in looks and also in nature, which I'll tell you more about later. Now, before you start thinking, here we go again, it's another talk about the power of pets. Well, think again, because since Reggie came into my life, I realised he's not just a pet, he's not just a dog, he's so much more than that. So today, I thought I'd share with you all the experiences and all that I have learnt about the many roles a dog can play other than simply being a family pet. Firstly, as I mentioned, Reggie is my therapist, and he's a very good one, mainly because he makes me feel really important by giving me his undivided attention whenever I need it. There are a few reasons I think dogs make great therapists, and Reggie is the perfect example. One, dogs don't mind if you cry. In fact, many dogs, including Reggie, will lick the tears right off your face. I can't imagine many professional therapists would give you that level of personal service. <laughs> Two, dogs have fur. Yes, so do cats and guinea pigs and heaps of other animals, but how many of them will let you play with their velvety ears? Reggie knows that the first thing in the morning, last thing at night, and many times in between, that I will cuddle him and pat him, and he's totally fine with that. The calming effects of patting your dog are actually backed up by science. A research study by the Washington State University found that patting a dog for just 10 minutes led to students having a significantly lower level of cortisol, the stress hormone. Three, dogs are authentic. They show you what it's like to be 100% yourself 100% of the time. Reggie clearly doesn't worry about what others might think of him and that encourages me to do the same. Four, dogs are comfortable with silence. Reggie never interrupts me, never says the wrong thing, and makes me feel like he could listen to me all day, and that makes me feel pretty special. And five, dogs don't send you a bill for their sessions. Reggie therapy is free. He's happy to be paid in cuddles and doggy treats. So as a therapist, Reggie gives me comfort, takes away my stress, and makes sure I'm never lonely. This is backed up by studies that show that children's exposure to companion animals can reduce anxiety. And this is a bigger problem than you may think. According to the Australian Primary Principals Association, 80% of primary school kids say anxiety is impacting on their ability to learn, and in some cases, even stops them from turning up at school. Some schools here in Brisbane, including here at Clayfield, have introduced therapy dogs to help their students deal with anxiety and get through the day. The therapy dogs apparently get paid in belly scratches and ear tickles. Look at this little guy. He's cheering me up just looking at him, almost as much as my own therapist. I feel like spending time with Reggie is the best therapy there is. Do we have any personal trainers in the room or anyone who's ever used a personal trainer? It didn't take me long to figure out that Reggie is the perfect personal trainer. Dogs don't just fill your heart, they can make it stronger. They make great PTs and motivators because they're always keen to get out of the house for a walk and they keep you company, making exercise enjoyable, so it doesn't seem like a chore. When I get home from school, before I can even think about relaxing, Reggie uses his best persuasive techniques to get me up and out of the house. There's the pester and liquor till she puts my lead on technique. That usually works quite well. But even better is the silent treatment, where he just sits right in front of me, staring at me with those big brown eyes. He mightn't be able to speak, but those eyes say so much and never fail to get me up and out. He mightn't come with a whistle and a clipboard, but there's no doubting Reggie's ability to motivate me. And it's a good thing too. A 2019 UK study found that adults in the UK who owned a dog were four times more likely to get the recommended amount of weekly exercise than those who didn't own a dog. And further research shows that owning a dog can lower your blood pressure, reduce cholesterol, decrease triglyceride levels, which contributes to better overall health, and give you a better survival rate if you do have a heart attack. 
So I can definitely recommend the health and fitness benefits of having a furry live-in personal trainer. Reggie takes his PT role so seriously, he even kept me company at Parkrun early in the year. Although, judging from this photo, I'm not really sure he's up for 5Ks just yet. <laughs> Reggie's a busy dog because as well as being my therapist and personal trainer, he has heaps of other roles in our family. He's a teacher, teaching me patience and selflessness by relying on me for so many things. He's a magician. He can make anything disappear. That's the beagle in him, and it's not necessarily a good thing, as usually if something has disappeared, it's because Reggie's eaten it. I'm talking shoes, glasses, pencils, remote controls, and the list goes on. He's a, com He's a comedian and a homework distractor. He's my bodyguard and my bestie. To sum it up, he's more than just a dog. He's Reggie. Thank you.